On this slide, we talk about sheaves of modules on projective algebraic varieties. So this has been taken from page 56 and 57 of Daniel Perrin's book, Algebraic Geometry. So we start with the projective algebraic variety. Yeah, you call it X. And uh, once you say there is a projective algebraic variety, you immediately need to think of the ring of homogeneous polynomials associated with it. So X is a projective algebraic variety and it is embedded in some space Pn and when we say equipped with an embedding we mean that we have a particular equation for X in mind yeah so notice that say P1 might be isomorphic to some conic yeah or it is isomorphic to a conic and both of them can can be embedded into P2 yeah P1 can be embedded into P2, conic section can be embedded into P2. So these are isomorphic, but the associated graded ring, uh, I will repeat again, the associated graded ring with P1 in P2 is different from C in P2. Yeah, again, the associated graded ring associated with P1 is different then associated graded ring associated with the conic section and this graded ring is what plays a fundamental role so therefore you have to take into account the embedding into the space so two curves could be isomorphic but depending upon what equation they have their graded ring would be different and that would define a different sheaf so again we will follow the case of uh, uh, sheaves of modules on affine uh, algebraic varieties but here the ring is graded and the module is also graded so say m is a graded r module yeah and uh, m till d is a ox module So on standard open sets, you define it like this, uf plus is the standard open set, it is cut out by a homogeneous polynomial f and this m with subscript bracket of f, it is a submodule of mf, yeah this is again mf is is nothing but the graded R module localized at F and M with subscript bracket F is consists of degree 0 elements yeah X over Fn this is degree 0 because degree of X is just n times degree of F yeah so X is homogeneous it has degree of n times degree of F so precisely like in the a fine case we are just using graded rings and we are using graded modules now if you are wondering what is ring r ring r is nothing but the ring associated with uh, this projective algebraic variety and when you write r tilde as ox it means that on the entire space it just becomes o of x so r you should start thinking of as o of x to start with it is o of x and m tilde is also o x module so it is important that you notice that in the open set we also have this ring r subscript of 
subscript bracket of f again r you should think of the homogeneous ring you obtain because of algebraic variety x say x is embedded in p2 you say c x y modulo the polynomial which defines the projective algebraic set x and the sheaf m till d is nothing but this sheaf of degree zero ele uh, elements associated with the ring yeah the corresponding ring so there is nothing much to say here i mean it is just um, it just follows parallelly the case of a fine algebraic varieties except that we use graded rings and we use graded uh, modules and we have degree zero as we had in the projective case yeah, so sheaves of modules are exactly the same as sheaves of modules in a fine case but we are using degree zero since we are in projective space that is pretty much it and again ox module m till d is quasi coherent and it is coherent if m is finitely generated module now just like in a fine case we have the correspondence m to m till d factorial it is exact and commutes with direct sums it commutes with direct sums and tensor products Okay, now we want to define the ideal sheaf in this case. Yeah, so the ideal sheaf, we start with the projective algebraic variety X. Um, you have the corresponding ring of homogeneous polynomials associated with x y is a closed set of x and y is defined by homogeneous ideal so say, say some ideal i defines this closed set y yeah, so basically it could be a bunch of polynomials and you, those polynomials generate this ideal i now you have a exact sequence Now we have an exact sequence 0 to this ideal i r r by i you sheafify it basically you have to sheafify it because you have to define it on every open set so for every open set you have to put tildes on it yeah, and what you get is an ideal sheaf so to make it more presentable we just write it in the following form the r till d corresponds to ox and r by i till d corresponds to oy and that is the end of the story